Hi, welcome to Retro Eric. Today we're going to talk about my Tiki 100 and my brand new hard disk emulator. What is Tiki 100? I'm sure most of my international viewers don't even have a clue. Tiki 100 was a desktop computer manufactured by Tiki Data in Norway. It was launched in 1984 under the name ConTiki 100. It was primarily designed for use in primary schools. Most of the operating systems and the programs was in Norwegian, and they were mostly educational. Opening up uh, the machine and looking inside, we see it has a fairly simple design. Very easy to open. Uh, the machine ran an operating system called Tico. It was a CPM cloned or maybe a CPM uh, ripoff. I'm not sure. Uh, the CPU was a Z80 processor running at 4 megahertz. It had 64 kilobytes of RAM, 32 kilobytes of video RAM, and 8 kilobyte ROM. I believe that the makers looked to Acorn BBC for inspiration. I say this because it used BBC Basic and the pinout for RGB graphics is the same as for the BBC. The graphics and sound was quite good for the days. The Tiki could produce 16 colors from a palette of 256 on a resolution of 256 by 256. If you reduce color to 4, you could have 512 by 256. The sound was also quite decent as it had a polyphonic sound generator. Talking about graphics, the best way of hooking up the computer to a screen is via the RGB cable. The RGB cable is the only way to show all 16 colors. You can use digital RGB, known as RGB TTL, but this only gives you 8 colors. RGB TTL is similar to RGBI, also known as CGA. But as you know, CGA can produce 16 colors. Temple Fall is one of the latest games produced for the Tiki. It was uh, made in 2015 by uh, a Norwegian guy called Frode van der Meren. But what was the news I mentioned in my intro? Well, this is the news. This is a hard disk emulator manufactured by Shell Sundby and it was designed by Frank Fugledal. And I have one and I will show it how it works. Installing the card is quite forward. We just uh, slap it into one of the available slots. We have four available slots down here. Um, the only one, the only slot we cannot use is this one to the far right. I don't know exactly why, but I have heard that maybe it's reserved for graphics cards. You format the card as FAT and copy over HD0 and HD1. I will put the link uh, beneath the video. First time I had trouble when booting up I got this error. When trying a different SD card it all worked fine. I also got the same error when using this SD card extender. Let's put the card back in and boot up the computer. So how does it work? Well, booting it up, we get this menu. I'll just exit it and show you that uh, we now actually are on the A drive. Even though there is no A drive in this machine anymore, the only drive in here, uh, the one, is now called B. and a is actually the emulated hard drive. We also have a C that is emulated with some files on it. We can still use the floppy, 
but we then need to address it as B. Back to A, uh, we have a problem in this TICO, the operating system. Uh, and that is that you can't have directories. By using the function user space, we can have different user spaces which can contain uh, different files. Now I'm in a user space that is empty, but we can go to user space 4 and see that we have some games there. You can download the image files from Shelp Synby's uh, webpage. I have put the link below. I'm sure we will see more software available on the hard disk images as times go by. I love the hard disk emulator and it has given me a new appreciation for the Tiki 100. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel where I mostly talk about retro computing.